Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. If you are new here, my name is Shen. I'm a 26 year old management consultant living in London. And on this channel, you can find planning, personal finance and lifestyle content. Getting straight into it, we are planning out our September budget. So if you're interested to see how we are managing our money this month, just keep on watching. Okay, so you'll have to excuse me because <laughs> the sun is setting literally in the next five, 10 minutes, but I really wanted to film this. So I'm hoping that it's not too dark or I can kind of mess around with the settings when I come to edit. Uh, but hopefully this shouldn't take too long to film. September budget. Now, I'm actually filming this on the 11th of September. My budget was done and set by, like, before payday, as it always is. It's just part of my payday routine. My budget is always finalised the night before I get paid. But, yes, I have just taken so long to film this video. I've been kind of crap at filming recently. But I want to get back into it, which is why I just said I really wanted to film this today. It doesn't matter that it's, like, nearly sunset. Let's just get it done. So, starting off with our income, we got our salary which was three thousand and ninety five pounds and seventy seven pence and that is exactly what we got because we budget based off of that so we can fill in this whole line here roll over we're rolling over thirty two pounds and 67 pence and that just comes from anything that's left in my personal spending that doesn't change because we again budget with that at the start of the month so that can be zero we are actually starting the month off with some miscellaneous income luckily my vintage sale came through just before payday so we decided to use that as part of the budget as well a uh, vintage is kind of like a reselling app i sold i think a pair of trainers that like I'd worn once and they were just far too big for me. They had like a few kind of like minor stains on them. I think this, the laces had like a tiny stain on it, but yeah, I think I paid 40 or 45 pound for them and I sold them for 40. So that was amazing. I was so happy because I've literally had them on the app for like over a year and you don't have to pay any fees on Vinted as well. So I love that. So that was handy. So that does mean that we're starting off the month with a income of 3,128 pounds and 53 pence. On to our bills. So... Spotify has slightly increased from this month. It's gone up to £4.50. Well, my portion is now £4.50 just because I have a family plan with four other paying people. Um, and that is due, well, it was actually due yesterday. It's normally due on the 10th. So that came out at the new price. I think the total plan amount is like £17.99. Phone bill, £21.62 as always. And that is due on the 26th. So just before my next payday. Manny Petty, so I'm actually putting in £50. And then on top of that, I'm rolling over £10. I don't actually take this out. I just leave that in the Manny Petty for the next time. That doesn't have like a specific date. For family, we're putting in 200 And that's just kind of my contribution to the household. I live still live with my parents. So that's just my little contribution. Beauty treatments are 120 as per usual, which... Oh, you guys have even been thinking like do i actually want and need all of the beauty bits that i get done but i'm just kind of like it's still a cheaper price that beauty treatments literally covers like a full body wax so legs arms stomach um i get my bikini line waxed chin wax sort of like my side burny area wax which to be honest i never needed to get that i'm kind of irritated myself for starting to get that because I, like i never needed it um two sets of eyebrow threading and two sets of sets of upper lip threading and a facial which i guess when you put it like that 120 pounds isn't bad but to be honest most of the time i do like my upper lip and my eyebrows myself so i could probably get rid of that but i don't think it's going to make a massive dent in the package to be honest but yeah, I mean, I've just been getting the package done for so long that I'm kind of just like, I'll just leave it as is. And I think I may have mentioned a few videos ago, my beautician did actually increase this from 100 to 120. So yeah, I mean, costs are rising, so I get it. But <laughs> I'm also like, oh, right. So that means our total for our bills, if you will, is £396.12. And, and you guys, like, I'm fully aware of how cheap this is. <laughs> um, I'm so, so lucky to be living with my parents because I'm able to save so much. But on the flip side, I also don't have a lot of other bits of spending. Like, I don't have a car on purpose. You know, I don't have um, a ton of other kind of luxurious additions, if you will. I mean, I have Amazon Prime, but that's on a student thing. And I think I pay about £30 a year. I don't know why I still have access to the student thing, but I do. So I'm not going to complain. But yeah, beauty treatments for Manny Petty, they would be the first to go if I was in, like, ever a, a, a tough time. Just my bit of self-care, really. And I, I could afford it. So I think, uh, yeah. I'm just going to keep them as is for now. On to sinking funds. So personal spending, because we roll over the 32 to 67, I essentially just empty it. So we're starting this with zero. 
and we added £270.32. and pence. Now, this was essentially double last month, so I'm really trying to be good in September and spend less. We're currently on the third week. Are we on the third week of my pay? Let me have a look. I've got my personal spending here. Okay, yeah, so we're technically on the third week of this month. And when I say third week, it's the third week from the point of me getting paid. Um, so I got paid on the 29th, but the 29th to the 3rd, I count that as a week, even though it's not a full week. And so far, I think I'm like £8.50 under budget where I'd planned to be. So I think the first week I gave myself £50. The second week I gave myself like £70. Um, and then I think 58 for the third week, which we're currently on. £50 for the next week and then 40 for the last. So I'm going to try and see if I can keep within budget. My ideal is to stay under budget and actually be able to roll over something. But we'll see. Definitely don't have much planned for this month. Gifts started off the month with £42.17 and and we are adding £70. Um, my sister's birthday did just pass, but I'm actually going to take her on like a little trip, like a long weekend uh, next year at some point. So we're going to be booking it soon and I probably will take money for that from my travel budget so yeah i just kind of topped it up because my boyfriend's younger sister's birthday is coming up she's turning 16 so i wanted to make sure i had some money in there for her but other than that like there's not really any big birthdays clothing started off with 124 pounds and 91 pence and we're adding 65 pounds and nine pence and the reason why i've added the nine pence is because i wanted it to be a whole number Beauty started off the month with 5.22. I'm so glad that I'm actually rolling over something because usually there's nothing left and we're adding 35. Technology, we started off the month with 35 and we're actually adding 40 this month, so a little bit more. I wanted to kind of give this a bit of an injection just because the last couple of months I've not really been contributing much to it. So that now currently I think stands at like 75, which is great. Uh, I am saving for a new phone, but I won't get that phone until next year. I typically try and keep my phones for about two years and then change them every two years. Siblings started off the month with 40 and we're adding 15. Vacation started off with 601 pounds and 85 pence and we are adding 400. I wanted to make that a thousand so yeah added 400 but i think from next month onwards this is definitely going to decrease just because i don't we are planning out our vacations for next year but we're definitely spending a lot less on vacations so yeah treat yourself uh started off the month with 689 pounds and 72 pence and we added 255 pounds this is another category which is getting um quite high now I, i've said in the past that treat yourself is literally as the name suggests just a category for me to essentially buy whatever i want it's usually bigger purchases but if i don't have anything any bigger purchases and say i don't know i might have an unexpected bit of spending um like a miscellaneous spend or something that I want that I may not have like budget in other areas. So for example, I've seen in the past like a beauty box set that I really wanted, but I don't have enough in beauty. I will just take it from Treat Yourself because it technically is kind of like my whatever you want buffer. Um, but we're getting very close to the thousand mark. So I think once we hit a thousand, which will definitely be next month, I'm going to slow down on the saving here. Travel, which is like for me going on the trains and stuff like that in the UK. It's not vacation. It's completely separate to that. Um, that started off the month with £139.92 and we're adding £20. I'm probably going to start adding a bit more to this slowly just because I will be going into the office twice a week now. Luckily, the second day that I go in, I spend slightly less on travel because it's a closer office. But yeah, I want to account for that. Planning started off with £95.86 and we're adding 32 my aesthetic box did come out, I think, on the 1st of September. So this has definitely decreased by the time we close off the month. And then Christmas started off with £110 and we're adding 70 So I'm slowly again bulking this up so that by the time it gets to like end of October-ish, I'm hoping to have everything that I need in there. On to total. So we started off the month with £1,884.65 and we're adding £1,272.41. Right, on to savings. So this is definitely the last month that my savings are going to look like this, just because there's a few areas that I'm not allowed to contribute to uh, from this point onwards. Uh, and I'll explain why once we've gone through the numbers. But First Direct uh, is getting £300. Now I can only put in £300 a month into First Direct, so we won't be putting in anything into there or anything more. 
uh, club Lloyds, I can only put in 400, so we are going to max that out. Okay, you guys, <laughs> I am actually filming this on a completely different day because I realised that I was speaking for a good five minutes and my camera had cut out and I just haven't had a chance to film this last bit. So let's uh, go from where we left off from, which was Club Lloyds at 400. My Lloyds Easy Saver, I can only put in 250, so I have put in that 250 and I'm not putting any more. Now, the next three are going to look a bit different going forward. Now, I can't actually add any more into this Lloyds Fixed Rate ISA and this Vanguard Stocks and Shares ISA. And reason being, uh, an ISA, which I actually don't know what ISA stands for, I'll put it on the screen here once I actually figure out what the acronym stands for. But essentially, an ISA is an account that you can have that gives you tax-free savings. So you get £20,000 that you can input for free every single year that won't be taxed. And one of mine is an investment account and the other is just a regular ISA where at the end of the year, the tax year, which the new tax year starts April the 5th or 6th. So everything up until essentially the day before that, um, get 5.5% on whatever I put into that account. So. I think I have three currently, three ISA products. The first thing is a lifetime ISA, which I put £4,000 into every single year. And the government gives me 25% back as a bonus. So what that means is I put 4000 in and I get 1000 back on top of the actual provider, the ISA provider. They will also give you interest as well. And I think I was with a company called Newcastle Building Society and they were giving me 3% interest at the time when I signed up to them, like five years ago, they were the highest interest rate. But now it's actually Moneybox that give you 4%. So I think it's normally 3.5% and they give you an extra 0.5% worth of interest for the first year that you have your lifetime ISA open. So I've actually just transferred to Moneybox um, and I think they're currently doing the process of transferring everything over. So yeah, I, what I usually will do is at the start of the tax year, I'll just put that £4,000 in straight away. Like I'll have it ready and literally the first day of the tax year, I will put that money in and then I kind of just forget about it until the next tax year. So that's why you don't see that here. The other one obviously is this Lloyd's fixed rate, which I will just put in my money and then get 5.5% at the end. And then the Vanguard stocks and shares is so obviously as it it sounds stocks and shares so i think my biggest my biggest fund is my s p 500 which i think is the top 500 companies in america or the, the biggest uh, guys i'm not that great when it comes to investing i kind of know very surface level stuff but i've had really good returns on that i think it's currently at like 12 percent. so yeah that's cool but yeah i've reached my twenty thousand pound uh budget if you will or allowance so I can't actually put any more in and I know that £20,000 does sound like a lot but it's not all just from what I've made this year I did actually transfer over some stuff that I had in like a regular savings account into one of these three so that's why it got used up quite quickly I wouldn't normally be able to put that much in and to be honest I, I was looking at my finances and I don't think I'll be able to hit 20,000 in terms of what I'm putting into these ISAs next year just because I am hoping to buy a house so things Things need to be sort of cash flowed and I don't really want to have them tied up in an ISA. Well, I mean, with the lifetime ISA, you can't just take it out penalty free. But the other two, I probably will. I am able to take out penalty free, but still. Anyway, that was very long winded. But essentially, with that being said, you won't be seeing Lloyd's fixed ISA or Vanguard stocks and shares on my list until at least April next year. So next month onwards, these two will be taken out. But I did put in 200 this month and the actual amount is 200 because we're not allowed to put any more. Um, you do actually get like in trouble. <laughs> when I say in trouble, I think you just get like you've got to pay or some kind of, I don't know, tax something. So I have been very careful to not put any more in than my, my 20,000. And then my Virgin Private Savings, which this will probably get a bulk of the money now for the next few months until the new tax year starts, because these three will stay the same. And I'll put this amount in every single month because I think my one year, these were all one year fixed rates. I think my one year fixed rates are all up in, I think these two are June and that one is July, I believe. My Virgin Private Savings is literally just an accessible cash saving account. This was 4% or 4.5% interest, gone up to 5%. So this is just going to have like my available cash that I am kind of just cash flowing. It's very easy to access this money. I don't have to go through anything. There's no like limit of withdrawals or withdrawal fees or anything like that. So yeah, we're not putting anything in here. But from next month onwards, this is going to be a big one. And this is going to get a majority of our savings. Didn't put anything in this month just because we maxed out 
these two but going forward we definitely will on to our totals so our total this month is 1500 pounds I'm really, 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 really going to try hard to actually increase this number over the next year or so. I really want to start putting in more than £1,500, especially while I still have the luxury of living at home. I want to maximise how much I put in to my savings because I know that the second I buy my house, that's going to go down the drain and I won't even be able to save nearly that much, considering I'll also be joining my finances with my partner. So, yes. So, friends, there you have it. That is my budget set up for this month. I am so glad that we're into September because it means that this personal spending amount is reducing. Like I said, from June to August, it's just so spendy and I'm kind of glad to just have a couple of months of breathing space. I do know that November and December are probably going to be slightly more spendy as we get into sort of the festive and Christmas period. But I'm kind of glad to just have two months break where things aren't going to be as wild and as fast paced. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for tuning in today. I really hope that you have had a good month financially. I hope September is fruitful for you. If you did enjoy today's video, please do consider subscribing and giving the video a like before you leave. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.